Hi everyone. Today I wanted to do an unboxing of my Coveco collection, um, Coveco Sport Pen in Olive. Since it is a limited edition color, that is why this one says collection instead of just Coveco Sport. So this one comes with a blue ink cartridge. Let me show it to you. So it comes with a standard blue like this. It is beautiful. I'm not exactly sure what year this one came out, um, but I saw it on Seaweed Kisses and I have an Olive Traveler's Notebook that I thought this would pair really well with. I've always liked the shorter pens. Um, and of course these I like as well because the sport size in particular is perfect for small hands like mine. So I really love that about it. This one I got in a medium nib. And because of that, I feel a little bit braver. So with this one, I will use a, um, I am going to use a converter, but I'm going to use an ink that I guess has a little, little bit of shimmer or sheen in it. Let me see, okay. So what I love about these sample bottles is that I can kind of turn them upside down. You can really see what they're gonna look like. Um, so it's a really pretty color. This is Diamine or Diamine Sherwood Green. I got this from Goulet and um, yeah. Now the piston that goes in this is very, very, very small. Um, so the option is, you can either take a blank international converter like this or an empty one and you can refill it um, and that gives you a little bit more ink in here. With the plastic ones, you can eyedropper it, which I am planning to do with one of my red ones. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to try to be brave with this one. I bought a syringe, a blunt syringe from Goulet Pens. So it comes out like so. It says just twist this on here. So this is a blunt needle. It's not very sharp at all. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the eyedrop, what's called the eyedropper method for this guy. But instead of an eyedropper, I'm using a syringe. So with this one, I'm going to add some silicone grease on my threads right here. So from Goulet, I bought their silicone grease as well. I'm sure they got it from a hardware store, but I know I can trust the one they have instead of me trying to go and find and pick one on my own. So I just put a small dab on my finger. Right. So the beauty of an ink sample is I want to leave a little bit still in this jar so that I can make my swatch for my swatch book. But the rest of it I'm going to put directly in here. So the silicone ink goes on this part of the pen. So for this part right here, I had to call in for the reinforcements because I didn't think through all of the steps well enough in advance. So my daughter is actually on the side holding the barrel that's full of ink because I needed both hands in order to load the silicone grease onto these threads. So. Um, this is the first time I've done this one like this, so I would recommend um, doing the silicone grease first, um, like I'm doing right here. Set that down and then fill the body with the ink and then you'll be able to reattach it just like this. So I try not to put too much and just wipe it off. So now we see, now that it's full, it is at 11 grams. 
and 0.4 ounces. Now, since this one also has the gold lettering, I did also get the Caveco Deluxe Clip in gold. So when I put these on, I try to have the gap down here and the logo right next to the name, just like that. Ooh, it is so pretty. So you see the top is the gold with the logo. And so that's why I got this matching clip for it. All right, so let's try some measurements real quick. So it is four, about four and one eighth inches when it is closed. In centimeters, it's about 10 and a half centimeters. And when it is posted, It's about five and a quarter inches when it's posted. And in centimeters, it's just over, I guess almost 13, a little over 13 centimeters, maybe 13 and a quarter centimeters. All right, so now let's test the writing. I ordered this Tomoe River paper, a little booklet in a size A6. This is in the color white. They have like a white and they also have an off-white version, such as what's been used in the Hobonichis and Hobonichi Weeks. But this one is actually white. And the grid is a light gray. Um, it holds up to the fountain pen ink very well. There's no leaking at all. Tomoe River paper is thin, so there is ghosting on the other side. And as I'm doing these ink swatches, I've just been writing on one side of the paper instead of both. The ghosting is not a lot. Um, it's, it's just a little bit, but it is really pretty with this Diamine Sherwood Green. It really shows this color off um, very well and also there's no hard stops or any nicks in the paper the paper is just ultra ultra smooth for fountain pens so I really liked um, using this paper for this purpose so the iridescent pearl with the extra fine nib felt a little bit scratchy to me, but this one in the medium nib is super, super smooth. This is amazing. So I do like this um, for probably a larger notebook, like my A5 notebook. I think this one would do really well, whereas the extra fine nib I'd probably use in like my Hobonichi Weeks and even this size, the A6. So I really love how vintage this pen looks, even though it's brand new. That olive color is just going to match my olive edition of Traveler's Notebook very, very nicely. I love the gold highlights, the gold accents on this pen. So what I'll be doing on Fountain Pen Friday is highlighting at least one video clip or photo of places we've been and where we've lived. We lived in Ecuador from 2016 to 2018. This is a picture taken from our condo in our living room. So I hope you enjoyed this edition of Fountain Pen Friday. I'm posting a playlist below. Feel free to subscribe to that playlist. Every Friday this year, I plan to post Fountain Pen Friday and it will highlight fountain pens and also inks. So if you enjoy that, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.